Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, we're doing the Divine Masculine Feminine reading. Let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, please show me Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, their love story. Please show me what we have to look forward to. Wow, we've got a card on the floor, so I'm not going to go get that right now. So, all right, we've got exchanging gifts. So let's find out what that means for the relationship reading. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. So love can definitely come in. It's saying, don't give up. Number 27 says, don't give up. Don't give up on your divine counterpart. They're on their way in. If you haven't met this person, if you haven't seen this person, again, just be in the flow of it coming in and realizing that this is a gift and it will come when it's ready. You know, you have to have the bow prim and proper and, you know, have it all wrapped up nice and neat and everything will... It'll all work itself out, I promise. So let's go ahead and see. Spirit, please show me the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Spirit, please show me the Divine Masculine, Feminine Love. Okay, that's way too many cards at one time. Spirit, please show me Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine in Love. All right, we've got the Six of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Cups. We've got the Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. We've got the King of Swords. Spirit, please show me. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. We've got Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups, and one more. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Woo! And Knight of Pentacles. This one did come out. I saw it earlier when it came out the first time. So Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. This is the only knight that gets anything done. He has thought about it. He has you know, put it all in his head and he is on his way and he has decided this is what I want and slow and steady wins the race. I'm on my way. He's not on the horse riding the horse galloping in to save the day. He is walking. He's thinking about his next step and how he wants to do it. And he's very, very grounded in his approach. See how he's barefoot? He is very grounded. Now, he's coming in and he's going to offer you the six of pentacles. Would you like to go on a date with me? Can I take you to coffee? Okay, so this is him wanting to put in this energy. This is the divine masculine. The eight of cups for some of you, this is someone coming back in from the past. So whether this is you or the op, you know, you know which role you play in. Okay, so I'm just going to play it as the divine masculine. I feel like the divine masculine is wanting to come back in. And I think the challenge is, do you allow him to, you know, are you okay with that? Or if it's not coming back in, it's your challenge is to walk away from what no longer serves you. Walk away from a relationship so that you can have your wishes filled. So that you can, a lot of you, you know, a lot of people, they'll, you know, they'll wait. They want to know what's on the other side before they'll do anything. So they wait. Okay. What's keeping you grounded is the nine of swords. So this is either you, them, or both of you is overthinking, overanalyzing the situation. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, I, listen, nine of swords, it's shitty energy, but again, you've got three nines here. Now you've got the nine of cups, nine of swords, and the 27 adds to a nine. So three nines here says, don't give up, continue to persevere, continue moving forward. Even though things may be scary, nine of cups, this person was definitely a wish fulfillment in the past. And maybe they, you know, threw it up to chance and just decided, you know what? I'm just going to let the chips fall where they may. I keep seeing that chips, chips falling where they may. For some of you, you just threw your arms up at love. You just said, fuck it. I, I don't know where we're going. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know who I'm supposed to be with. So I'm just going to throw it up, give it up to God. 
Okay. Give it up to the universe. And so what you did was, is you delved deeper into your work. For some of you, maybe you've met this person at work because we do have the six of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles. A lot of pentacles in this reading, a lot of pentacles in the reading from last time too. If you're a Virgo or we're dealing with a Virgo, go back and watch the last Virgo love reading that I did because that actually had a lot of these cards in it. Not saying that you're all Virgos and that you're dealing with Virgos, but you never know. Do you know their moon? Do you know their rising? Do you know yours? Do you know your stelliums, stelliums? You know, so think about that. For some of you, you are dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Lots of that here. Could be the cups. Um, King of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, we have water signs. We have all the signs here, but these ones are showing up the most. One thing I love about this reading is there is no major arcana. So it's like, you know, you have human free will at any point in time. You can stop overthinking it and you could actually just start moving into it. Um, you know, it's so funny. I look at the queen of pentacles and I look at the king of swords and look at how they're both sitting. She's like got her arms crossed. Like, I'm not going to make a move. You make a move. And he's like, well, ripping his hair out because he's overthinking the whole situation. <laughs> And it looks like her, you know, she's just kind of like, I'm not doing anything. I know my value. I know my worth. And whatever is meant for me will come and find me. And that's all there is to it. So I really like the energy of the Queen of Pentacles because she's like the low, uh, lower, or, you know, the minor arcana to the Empress. You know, the Empress knows her value. She knows her worth. And she's abundant. She will get whatever it is she needs. So I feel like there's a lot of things coming at you. Maybe, you know, financially you're dealing with a lot of stuff, you guys, um, you know, because I do see the, all these pentacles car cards here. So this has a lot to do with energy, you know, work, um, you know, reciprocity when it comes to work. This has a lot to do also with investments, investments in this relationship, you know, really being this power couple. I feel like the relationship between the two of you is going to be one of groundedness, but also of great conversation. So I feel like the two of you guys will definitely have really good conversation when you start talking or if you haven't already started talking. Okay. But it's saying like when this person comes in, take things slow. Don't just run and try and move into the person, you know, don't just run into bed, you know, jump into bed with this individual. No. You've already done that in your past, okay? Whether that was with this person or with someone else, you've already done that. You don't get to do that anymore. Being mindful of your own addictions, all right? And some of you, your own addictions, if you know what I mean. Be careful of those. It's not just alcohol. It's not dr just drugs. It can be sex. Come on, ladies, like you want to be treated like a woman, you know, then act like one. We're not playing with distorted energy anymore. This is slow and steady wins the race. This means long term investment. And if that is what you're wanting, you're going to have to actually be on that journey. For some of you, you're worried that you're never going to get this offer. And I'm going to tell you, you're actually wrong. So stop overthinking it and just be in the moment. In the meantime, just keep doing the things that you need to do. Like, get on your work. <laughs> For some of you, it's like you are so freaking boy crazy and need it in, like, it, this, it's almost like an obsession, you know, that you need this relationship sometimes that you forget, like, there's other things that are going on around you. And I know that I've been seeing that theme in a lot of my personal readings, like, Oh my God, when's my husband going to be here? When he gets here. Like in the meantime, I'm sorry, do you have bills to pay? Do you have things to do? Because you might want to get on it. A lot of things, you know, maybe even a lot of people coming at you, but just know that you're protected. Be open to love. Queen of Pentacles here, she's got her arms crossed. So again, be open to love. Open your heart to receive what it is that you're looking for. And honestly, let love just flow in. It's going to come in. Just like your finances, you know, when you think you're broke and then all of a sudden it just 
flows in and all of a sudden you look at your account and you're like, whoa, I have more money in there than I thought I did. I think there's going to be a lot of job opportunities. And for a lot of you, you could very well meet this person during a work endeavor. I am seeing that very clearly here. If you have not met this person yet, get your ass to work. Because this person, for whoever I'm reading for, is going to be coming in to invest in whatever it is that you do. He could ver very well be, he's somebody who is very soft-spoken. This person is very articulate. They, I mean, they could be a cop. They could be a lawyer. They could be a, um, a counselor. They could... Be a writer. Very creative. Got a lot of wisdom. Like I said, I think that the conversation between the two of you, I don't think that you guys will run out of things to talk about. Spirit, please show me advice for the divine masculine. Wow. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So the masculines are definitely working on more self-love and getting out of their head. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Because honestly, you both deserve love. And what you guys are wanting is something that is going to last the, the test of time. Someone here is walking away from an old, like walking away from a marriage. Or one of you needs to walk away from a marriage. But for others of you, because this is a divine masculine feminine, I feel like this has already been done. And now it's just a matter of time before the two of you two come, or the two of you come together. But again, that's why there's all these pentacles here. Because the queen of pentacles, she's been holding off for the one. She's not somebody who's going to jump from relationship to relationship to relationship. That's more of like the wands, that's the cups, and that's the, the air signs. That's not the queen of pentacles or the king of pentacles. They don't jump from relationship to relationship. They take a long time to decide. I'm a Virgo. I'm six placements Virgo. I've been single for years. I will not just jump into a relationship with just anybody. I take my time. I'm very methodical. Yes, I'm also very picky. You know, you're going to have to like come up against my being single, you know, and not having to answer to anyone. And you're going to have to make that intriguing, <laughs> like to be in a relationship with me. Because again, you have to be open and it's, it's like full disclosure. You know, there's no hiding anything in a relationship because that's the queen of pentacles. She's not hiding anything. So she's like, mm, I'm good on my own. You better have, you know, come in with something good and a great offer before I'm even going to open myself up to anything else. That's the queen of pentacles. I want marriage. Where's my husband? <laughs> I'm not willing to look at anything until he shows up, you know? It's coming in, guys. It, it is. And I think, you know, with Mars and Venus both together for the next two months, February and March, and they're hanging out side by side. They're in Capricorn right now. So again, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Earth energy, grounded energy. Then they're going to be coming into, an Aquari into Aquarius together. So use this energy, the masculine and the feminine energy. Use this energy. This is the perfect time for two people to come together. When they go into Aquarius, for some of you, you'll find this person on the World Wide Web. While they're in Capricorn, probably not on the World Wide Web, <laughs> you know? None of the dating scenes. It's going to be like, you know, meeting up face to face. Um, for a lot of you, that's a requirement. I know for myself, that's a requirement. Like, I want to know somebody. I want to meet you face to face, you know? I'm not going to sit and text and call and, no, 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 we're going to meet up. Otherwise, we're not going to talk, <laughs> you know? So keep that in mind. All in all, a really good, really good messages here today, you guys. Um, you know, 
getting back to your work, putting the work into yourself, realizing that you two are a gift. And the moment that the two of you guys come together, I just feel like, you're going to be a power couple and you're just going to know that this is the person that I'm going to marry. Anyway, guys, I love you all so very much. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in the personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. I also have a new service on my website. It's called what the fuck is going on. It's a 25 minute reading. Check it out. It's in the description box, the link. It'll take you right over to my services page. I love you all so much and I'll chat with you again tomorrow.